This is Tyreek Hill's home in Southwest Ranches, Florida, worth $7 million. This stately estate spans 11,455 square feet, embodying a Euro-inspired design with grand columns and an imposing entrance. The residence includes seven opulent bedrooms, 7.5 baths, located on a sprawling 2.8-acre lot with picturesque resort-style grounds. Highlights include a master suite, state-of-the-art home gym, executive office, five additional bedrooms, an exclusive home theater, and a luxurious upstairs den. Welcome back to the podcast. Beloved, this is indeed your brother, Big VJ, checking in. Let's talk about what's trending. Right? We got an article that's up from the Atlanta Black Star. Right? We're going to talk about our brother, Tyreek Hill. But uh, there's some things that's trending. So we're going to have a conversation about it all. Right? How about we do that? Um, Man, it's a lot going on, right? <laughs> it's a lot going on in the original man's world in the wilderness of North America and the territory that we call the United States right it is a lot of things trending with the original man in the United Snakes of America right um shout out to our brother Kyle Kyle we got you um we got your DM, brother. And um, everything is kind of new with um, with what we see going on in Hollywood, right? We're talking about the major story, right? The Jonathan Kidd, right? Everything is kind of new in Hollywood. So we're trying to see what is what. Um, but we agree with you, brother, that will be a good conversation. The Diddy thing is still going on, right? Um, we got some from from the family. We got something from the tribe, right? Our very own kin folks at Unpopular Truth versus Popular Opinion. We got a piece on Biden that we gotta uh, have a conversation about as well. So it's a lot on the table. It's a lot trending. It's a lot going on. You know what I mean? Um, today though, we're gonna have a conversation about resources and living in the devil's kingdom women are often gold diggers but they have to be they must be because it's not by nature that our sisters are becoming gold diggers or women in general it is because ultimately the united states is a artificial society Right, where men hoard all the goods, right, and then what happens is that you got to do some strange for a piece of change to get your resources to get your babies taken care of. So, a of course we know a gold digger is a person that they only form a relationship with someone with a man, preferably purely for money, right? But in the same breath, how could a female, a woman, a lady, a goddess, how can she not get trapped into that that cycle? Because again, when you live in a male dominated society, the men got all the resources. So there's only two ways you can eat, right? You're either gonna get a man directly, like a husband, fiance, boyfriend, baby daddy, where you can pull resources from him, or you're gonna poor resources indirectly for men which is a system that they created either welfare or the job force even if you make your own job as a female as a sister as a woman as a queen as a goddess you still got to go through the mail because this is the society that we live in right so let's talk about our brother uh Tyreek Hill because he got a lot going on allegedly he got seven kids we're just going to talk about three of them. Bunch of baby mamas, right? Because we know that the black man in America is the baby mama making champion in the entire country, if not the world. He loves to produce children. 
but that's going to eat up his resources because when you deal with multiple women that is our position on this platform hey man get you one wife one wife only and if possible have all your children by the same woman right that way you streamline your resources differently you know our brothers do it their own way and we had a conversation about that on one of our last podcasts in which we talked about we put the numbers on the table single men have a mortality rate that is 250 percent higher than married men they're dying faster right and then of course we got exceptions to the rules because you know <laughs> we had a brother he chimed in he's like hey man you know my grandfather lived to be 80 something man he had women on listening on i was like, yeah man your grandfather was an exception to the rule right he lived to be 80 you know we get all that but uh you know your grandfather he probably wasn't born or i i can't say probably he wasn't born in the mcdonald's generation in the wendy's and, and white castle generation right he wasn't born in a generation where they drunk sprites and cokes and pepsis all day and the devil tricked them into eating three four meals a day you know the dig that food pyramid that's gonna put you in the ground for real for real because yo digestive system was it wasn't created to be it is shit is overworked if you eat three meals a day and you spread it in them out you overworked but even if they did eat that it was real food back in those days it wasn't processed beloved if you think a man can deal with multiple women in this day and age in this society with all this processed food and it's weighing on his emotions because you're dealing with women it's on your emotions now it's on your mental now. It's on your finances. It's on your physical. There's no way. This is why the numbers is like it is. And you know, there's exceptions to the rule. Like, we talk to our people about not eating pork. And we always get, man, you know, my big mama ate pork. You know, they, she lived to be 87. I'm like, okay, we get it. But your big mama had 10 sisters. How long did they live to be? <laughs> Because what we do know that, you know, many of our forefathers and foremothers, they existed until their late 80s and 90s. They didn't live. When I say living, I mean, they couldn't even walk a tenth of a mile if they had to. Because the physical wasn't there. They ate swine and pig feet and chitlins and they had hypertension and gout and all these, you know, sugar and everything else that came with it right we, that's what we say in the village sugar but it's medically called diabetes and then what what tends to happen shit you get old you can't even you can sit on the recliner all day until you're 90 you can sit on the couch all day till you're 90 but you damn sure can't walk nowhere jogging is out of the question you can't even walk up the block you can barely walk around the house so it's the meat it's the lack of exercise it's the pork maybe all of that is a different story for a different day Atlanta Black Star, the headline reads, recently married NFL star Tariq Hill reportedly has five kids after new paternity lawsuits alleged two women had his babies this year. So he's dropping top. Our brother is dropping top. That means don't ask him about no condom. He don't have any. He only have two kids by two women in one year that doesn't say he was sleeping with only two women unprotected he just dropping top everywhere he go which is which is dangerous in itself but we're going to talk about this right we're going to keep the focus on this the man is a resource because we know this country is a male dominated society this is why it is important for a man to marry young and early and don't cheat Lock you a queen down, keep your dick in your pants, and leave it there. Only pull that sword out when it's time to cut mama. When you got a pierced mama in the side, you pull that sword out. But if you ain't got mama in front of you, don't pull that sword out. Only pull that sword out for your old lady. That's it. Right? Put that dick on mama and leave it alone. But when you take it out in the street, we're going to talk about what happened. When you take that dick all in the street, because the resources is following behind the dick. 
Miami Dolphin Tariq Hill has two paternity suits levied against him just over a month after he married his longtime girlfriend. Now he put his old lady in some shit. Right? I think they've been married by uh, or dating by three years and he having kids while he dating is going to be, you know, it's going to be something interesting, but we'll talk about that as well. There must be something in South Florida water as Miami Dolphins player Tariq Hill appears to have uh, made headlines similar to those of his teammates, Xavier Howard, after he was accused of fathering several children from different women in the same year. Dropping time. The wide receiver is now rumored to have two kids by two different women. The news comes a little uh, over a month after Hill married his girlfriend of around three years, Keita. As reported by the Daily Mail, one of the women who filed the paternity suits against the MVP candidate claims that Hill offered her uh, offered to pay her $2,500 a month of child support for a son who was born in February. All right, so now I dig this as we go down and we're going to read a couple of more paragraphs. Don't walk, but run to unpopular truth versus popular opinion. This is a podcast on Spotify. Check it out, right? There's an episode in which the host, right, DK The Voice, he talks about child support in depth. Um, I don't have any experience with child support, right? Only thing I know is what my pops told me because he also, he was a man that uh, he wasn't married. And the way that he kind of explained child support to me is in order to keep the payments low, there's a few things that you have to do. And the first thing you have to do is you must, um, you must put yourself on child support. Right, this is coming from a pops. It's old school. He's like, "Yo, you never let a woman put you on support. You take your ass down there. You put yourself on support, and then when you put yourself on support, you make sure that you cover the child on your medical benefits, dental, and you pay for some form of education, like a tutor or something, or just private school or whatever. That way, you won't your quote unquote payments won't be as big. But if you let the queen put you on that support, then you're screwed." You screwed because you just screwed. This is how my pops kind of kicked it to me. If you really want to get knowledgeable about how that work again, unpopular truth versus popular opinion, right? DK the voice. Go back in the archives. Check him out. He explained how that whole thing works. And I can bear witness that he got caught up in it was like a child support scandal in his situation because he have all his children. <laughs> My folks raised all his kids, man. He got all his kids in the same roof. So to have your children living with you, but paying, in essence, a single mother, because this is his case. He got the kids. He's he got the he's the custodial parent. He's paying the non-custodial parent child support. She just kicking it. And I had this. Uh, or I should say, I have heard of this situation multiple times because even my pops told me, he said, listen, if there's a, a monetary value that involves children, the woman is going to feel like she's more entitled to the money than anybody else, right? That's just how it is. He used to crack a joke that, you know, because I, I often say that, you know, my life story is similar to Trey's our boys in the hood. You stay with your mom for so long, you become a teenager, right? Boom, you move, you stay with your pops. But even my pops made the joke when I stayed with him. He was like, as a single parent, he was like, you know, I'm pretty sure your mom is going to continue to uh, cover you on the taxes. <laughs> He's like, I'm pretty sure she's going to do that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's going to do that. And then he so often say, damn, I'm paying support for you. You sitting right here in my house. <laughs> He just didn't care. But he just like, yo, this is how the, this is how it works. You, you dig what I'm saying? Now, um, again, McKen folks though, he go a little bit more in depth, right? Because I have a partner. I want to bring him on the podcast because he have a very interesting child support story as well, in which he talks about how um his his daughter 
was raised with her big mama, right? She stayed at her big mama house because she liked it being in that neighborhood more. She liked the schools over there more. And she had more friends at her big mama's house. This is his baby mother's mama crib. You dig what I'm saying? But yet he still had to pay support. So his child's mother, the, ch the child don't even stay over there. She's kicking it. She got a whole new life. And he was like, yo, he thought that was the craziest thing. He wanted to change the support and put it and give it to the grandmama. But the mama wouldn't allow it because, but then that goes back to what my pops told me. He like, yo, it's money involved. She feel like it's belonged to her. All right. So check that uh, podcast out though, because it's, it's a lot of good information on that. I think you would be enlightened by it. The woman whose name is Brittany Lackner claims one uh, paternity test already proved Heal is her son's father. Heal allegedly asked for a second test before voluntarily paying $2,500 a month. Okay, we're going to add it all up. Uh, Lackner believes the amount is woefully inadequate, inadequate pardon me, because Heal gets paid $30 million a year. What is $30 million in real life? Because he gets an employee salary. He's not generating $30 million. He's an employee for the Miami Dolphins. Means that his tax rate is like 40-40%. That $30 million, even though it's a large number, it's a lot of paper, he doesn't touch the whole 30. Because they gave the boy a $120 million contract over four years. Okay, we know. Let's do the quick math on our feet before we even go any further. Being that he'll sign a four-year, $120 million deal, that's a lot of chicken. We can all agree to that. But how the hustle works is that the agent get 10%. That's 12. The lawyer get 12% for going over the deal. That's another 12. We're talking about 12 million. And then 40% of 120 is like 48 million. Quick math on our feet. I could be wrong. I'm just, we going off the top. So, you know, we talking about 12 plus 12 is 24. And then we add that to the 48 million. What is that now left over when you subtract that from the 120 million? That, that's the big number at the time. You see, that's how these NFL players go broke. Now, this is why I tell our brothers to keep their dick in their pants. Because when you deal with multiple women, this is what happened. See, you are in a male-dominated society. You're the resource. So you can't do that. You can't be biologically, if there's, we had a gender war, if anybody could be promiscuous, it's the woman, it's not the man. Because the woman's orgasm is not connected to reproduction. The man's is, not the woman's, right? Okay. You gotta buy a house still, Tariq. You gotta buy a car. You're making money, you ain't gonna buy no no forward now. You're gonna go get come on, we don't get the luxury, right? But mama want a mama want a car too. Daddy want a car. Your favorite uncle, right? Big Johnny, Big J, he wanna he want a nice vehicle too. Shit, mama want a house. <laughs> Y'all know mama want a house. Mama want a house. Hmm? Mama want a house. Hmm? Your favorite niece, she finna go to college, she needs some help. Your nephew, he finna go to college, she needs some help. Now all your partners, when y'all go to the club, and go to the mall, everything is on you. Come on, we finna show how our brothers are you the resource, brother. See, the beauty about having a wife is a wife is going to always protect your interests. When you don't have no wife, you're going to go broke. You got a wife now, so that's going to save you some money in the long run. But look, look how you got the queen out in the media. Look how you got out there. You marry, and then the ink on the paperwork on your marriage certificate ain't even dry yet and look women popping up with babies just the first two that mean you probably was slick enough to have another one you got her you, she keep quiet that's why they say the brother allegedly got seven kids because he just out in miami 
you know, at those clubs. He having a good, he dropping, he dropping top, right? Some of the prettiest women in the world is down there. He dropping top, he having a good time, but he having too good of a time because he's the resource. He got to provide the physical, financial, and emotional. The children are still growing. Child support ain't got nothing to do with the Disney World trip. Six Flag trip. Summer vacation, spring break vacation. Got nothing to do with that. But you see how fast that 120 million, it can goddamn get swallowed up quick. That 120 million can turn to 48 million real quick. Then you're just a young man. So we tell our brothers what? Hey man, you are called, beloved, to provide, protect, instruct, avenge, and revenge. It's your calling. But it's the woman's. She's called to choose the best provider, the best protector, the best instructor, the best avenger, the best revenger. Because she got to make sure the fruit of her womb is taken care of. So she's seeking out, it's all genetic survival, right? This is sex. But she's seeking out something a little different because in an artificial society, she don't have access to any resources. You got it. So you can't get mad at women saying, I want a six-figure this, I want it. Yeah, nigga, because y'all niggas have hoarded all the money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oprah can't be a billionaire unless a man in this country say well it's okay to do that women that are millionaires in this country a man had to say well it's okay to do that because they have to do the business and get the the infrastructure is created for men by men so we can't get mad when the queen say she want this and that other man because the niggas and swallowed it all up and when i say nigga i mean saying in the general sense of just males in general because it's really the devil the devil took it all and the second place runner up is the original man because the devil puts the original man before his own woman. Y'all know that, right? He ain't got no love for that cave woman. He don't love his own woman like that. He loved the dog more than he loved his wife. He let his wife go. You know what I'm saying? He, he let his wife go. He shares his wife all the time. He kicking it. They kick it at a whole nother level, brother. They different than us, right? A little bit more open. The communication is dead. We get it. But he just... Look at the movies he makes. He can't stop making horror movies where he's killing up. He always got the white woman running and shit. You know what I'm saying? He's Because he, he got to understand before you see it on the big screen, it played out in his mind first. And in his mind, he always writing scary stories or horror movies or horror stories in which the woman is always, the so-called white woman is always running, trying to get free and somebody is just killing her and slashing her and she's in the woods or... She made a wrong turn. Uh, it screams scary movie. Is Michael? Is Michael Myers? Is something? He in the dreams with Freddy. He always, but he got to get hold on to that woman. Cause that's his how he psychologically feel about that woman. If somebody had to be president and a woman was running, he'd put a shine up there before he put. That's what happened with Hillary Clinton. He don't love his woman. He like she wanted to goddamn take the highest office of the land he went and got a brother off a giraffe right it was it was in the back room feeding the elephant fighting hyenas from chicago and he pulled him out of there and put him in the white house before he put his own woman in the white house because his nature he don't care nothing about his woman brother that's why he give them to you and as soon as she get around you she don't do nothing but take and rob you the second woman suing hill kim alleges the 29 year old has demonstrated utter and object concern for their daughter an infant beggar claims was born this year as well so that's another $2,500 a month from him but the mother says you know she spent close to 10k to take care of her daughter so what I don't know how you take how does you spend I, 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 I don't get that you drop a 10k on a newborn let's continue to the next paragraph right and we'll close out on this if Hill loses both cases the new child support will be added to the 13.5 that he already paid for the three children he got by crystal so let's just do the quick math on our feet brothers 13.5 a month go to crystal 
2500 uh, $2, a month go to Brittany. Another $2,500 a month go to Kim. These just the, these just the children right up the top. We ain't talking about the alleged because it should be two more out there somewhere. Right? That's what the words say. Because Kim say she she finna go get an increase. Because she say she's been in 10K a month already on child care experience. So I don't know what these expenses is, but she say she's dropping 10K a month. I don't know what she does for a living, but all I, I'm saying this. See, you the resource, brother. This is why this platform say, no, the way that the biology is set up, it is not designed for men to spend themselves sexually. It is designed for men to keep themselves sexually because the man got the seed. You got the seed and you have to be more responsible because your seed operates until you hit that grade, brother. So you got to keep yourself because if we do the quick math with just these children with these three mothers right here by the time you get them kids to 18 man he gonna spend just in child support fees about and i don't want to say fee but child support payments anywhere between four to six million dollars just in child support payments now how much longer you think the brother gonna play you know football is a contract sport and them contracts ain't guaranteed like that Right? Them contracts ain't guaranteed like that. And we don't know how many women uh, that's in the shadows right now that he got babies by. And if he don't got babies by, he taking care of them. And he got a wife, but he's young. He in Miami. He just, you know, our brother don't look like he's all the way there mentally. So then what happens with that? They become drained. They become drained. Chasing pleasure so we tell our brothers what keep yourself brother one wife all your children by the same woman we know they're gonna be fighting over that estate brother come on we know they're gonna be come on god forbid something happened to you they fighting over that estate then all the children that you had in the street that was in the shadow, they coming out the shadow to get their peace. Because you are the peace. You're the man. You're the resource. If anybody is trying to make you think being a player, a Mac, so-called pimp is cool, they're leading you down the path of being severely financially dead, physically dead because you're spinning yourself, Physically dead, listen, physically dead because you're spinning yourself. This is why we say the single man died before the married man. And you're going to be emotionally drained, filled with stress. That's also going to put you in Hades, Sheol, or the grave sooner. Whatever word you want. Hades or Sheol or the grave, whatever one you like. You're going to get there sooner, brother. We're going to leave it there. We're going to leave it there. You can't do that, man. See, that's the problem with living in the devil's kingdom. He got everything flip-flop. Everything is upside down. He, The devil make you think it's the man can run out and drop, dig, and throw. No, you can't. We're going to have a conversation about that. We, we got to talk about that and break that down. Biologically, if we played the whore game, only the women can play the whore game. Not the man. Because the man... <laughs> The man got the seed. He's the, he's the farmer. He got the seed. He got the seed. Not her. So you got to be more responsible when we leave it there. Peace and black power to your family. Love, we thank you guys so much for listening. We thank you guys for hanging out. This is indeed Real Black Content is from Podcast. This is your brother V. Happy holidays to all. We'll get it with you guys later. Beloved, peace. But y'all don't know, I'm the third one, and this is his sixth child. Someone said, ooh. Right, couldn't have been me. All right, until the rich nigga put that pressure on me. Yeah, man.